Hello, good to the internet. Welcome back to more Dragon Rampa 2. Hold on, Nombres. It's actually been a while since our last episode because I, my computer, uh, uh, my computer went kaput and I had to get a new one. If you've been following my, me, where are you here, going? To the hospital. We have to go to the dining hall first. All right, all right. We gotta meet up with everybody. I we can't. Not. We can't be a social outcast. Hi. Hello there. Ah, good morning, Hajime. <laughs> Even if you ignore me. I'm already happy that our eyes have met. You really are a kind person. Hey. Anyway, after what happened to Fuyuhiko, you understand what I was saying a little better now, right? What do you mean? I'm oh, sorry, what ellipses? <laughs> what dot 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 do you mean? <laughs> you don't know? Fuyuhiko involved himself in Peko's execution. I did say that it felt unpalatable to me. But Fuyuhiko returned to us alive. It's obvious. He used Peko's death as a stepladder so he could shine even brighter and cling to an even stronger hope. You... What? Huh? Don't you agree? Well... But it's decided that's what hope should be. That's why you and the others progressed forward. <laughs> Oops. We should chat later. We need to be at the restaurant soon. I'll go on ahead. How long did he keep on playing such... <laughs> saying such foolish things? <laughs> Fool! Fool! <laughs> Fucking uh, Excalibur Fool. from <laughs> Soul Eater. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, it's you, Hachibe. Were you also summoned by Ibuki? Yeah, it seems so. <laughs> I summon Gundam. <laughs> I, I summon the wind! <laughs> Has she been going around waking people up? Did she break it to lock your room too? No! No! That never happened! I was awakened by a knock at my door going at 337 clapping rhythm and, and some shouting. The what? <laughs> that sounds extremely annoying. Was I the only one whose room got broken into? Or you could have just left it unlocked. Also, <laughs> she can, just says it. I completely forgot that Ibuki was in my room last time. <laughs> it's been a while since we played. Yeah, she was in your room doing god knows what. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> but for her to go out of the trouble of waking us up, when the world happened, I have a very bad feeling about this. Let's make haste and head over! He's right, I should hurry up too. Oh, uh, you guys don't know about it because it's hit off screen, but I'm thinking about becoming a voice actor. I did a couple of test samples, and now oh, great, I have to do her voice now. <laughs> <laughs> Good day. Good morning. I am so glad today is another clear, sunny day, my love. Another? More like... Actually, no, you mentioned it. Ever since we came to this island, it hasn't rained once. Why is that? Maybe it's because it can't rain, because this is a simulation! Nick, come on! <laughs> no, don't say such crazy things. It might be best if I don't think about that too deeply. It seems to be hinting toward it, especially at the beginning. <laughs> the beginning with all those pixel things. Dude, at the beginning we saw a freaking... At the beginning of the first game we saw the world go into like a freaking tornado of... That was him the losing his memory. That could be us losing our memory! We don't know! Digital? I don't know. When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was everyone's backs, as if they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over some everyone's shoulders. Uh, hello? I got something I want to say. For you, Hiko, is it okay for you to be moving around? I like his eye patch! I want a knife patch like that. I didn't realize his arms and legs were so lanky. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a slender man. <laughs> He's also bending forward, isn't so... He, isn't he supposed to be short? He is short. He looks... We're just up close in front of him. I guess, yeah. Well, he shouldn't be okay. Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzuryu. My first name is pronounced boo you he ko Well, F-U-C-K space Y-O-U. Okay. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. Okay. Okay. Mr. Uh, Buzzcut? Fiend. Just, what the hell was that? Huh? It's nothing really, just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet, I feel like it was the first time Fuyuhiko ever greeted us. He did! <laughs> <laughs> um, that eye patch of yours. Nothing. Ah, uh, it, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no... Wait, that's nothing, since that eye is no longer... Mm, so you can't see it. Huh. Huh. Heh. 
It's the only one. Besides... It's only one eye. It's only one eye. Besides, don't I look like I gained some prestige or something? You look like an actual Yakuza! <laughs> oh, Yuhiko. Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Thought. Do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Understand? Don't you get it? It's your fault my hero is dead! No, not just my hero. Pego died because of you too! Hey! It's all your fault! Thought! Oh. Um, Hiyoko, we finally be able to get together with everyone! And? Huh? So what if we're all here? You're better not- you better not say we're friends or something. Shut up! Uh, you were wanted to be friends. There's no way a killer like him will, will ever be our friend. I know. Yeah, you're right. It's all my fault. I already know that. It's my fault that those two are dead. You. You. Are you planning to just give us your so what attitude? I. It's not that. He squeezes out those words. Fuyuhiko, suddenly clap. Fuyuhiko. Fuyuhiko, suddenly clap on the ground. Fuyuhiko! Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me. Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just dropped your knees and cry? Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget nope. what you've done? No. I don't think that at all. What? What? Huh? This is... No! It's blood! It's blood! He just got opened his stomach. His hand. Was... Seppuku! Ah! Ah, there we go. He slit his own stomach. Huh? Ah! What? Are you saying he cut up with his own freaking stomach? Seppuku! Was it with his brain? Because his hands are both clearly out in front of him. Maybe he had a thing in his... Maybe he had a thing, like right here. And then what's his he bunk? <laughs> Maybe. What the... What? What are you doing? Apologizing to you for some reason you I thought. I I didn't even with such a half-assed apology. I didn't realize you were already saying it. But if I don't do this, my feelings God, that won't face. feel resolved. Uh see? It doesn't mean you should slice open your stomach! <laughs> we must turn him to the hospital as soon as possible! Again. You're right! Kazuichi, lend me a hand! This is bad. Yeah, sure thing. Stop it. I can take care of myself. Ah. I, didn't, I didn't even do a voice right at all that time. I did, no it's a, he, he has his stomach slit open. You think he's going to be able to talk normally? That's fair, that's fair. Also, I need to let the cat in again. <laughs> I clicked ah. forward. Thank you. Even though I it took the time to patch you up, now I need to sew your wounds all over again! Oh, uh, you get to play with needles, Nikon. I don't think you're too sore about it. <laughs> I feel so ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone again. Uh, uh, who cares about that? Let's go! The others carried Pew he go out of the restaurant. But for those who were left there... Thought... Well, this is awkward. How should I start up a conversation? I mean, just start yeah. it up how I do it. Just yell thought at her and she starts talking. Hey, Hiyoko. I've been thinking about this for a while, but... Um... What would Maru say about this? I know you guys are best friends, so what do you think? <laughs> what would Mahiru say? What would Mahiru say? She'd, She'd call you a mad. thought. Really mad. No, I don't think Maru would do that. Maru's too nice. She go, jeez! Go, yeah, jeez! <laughs> and after she got mad... <laughs> Picking on boys, Hiyoko? Not, not cool. cool. <laughs> it's definitely not possible. There's no way I'd be... Um, it'd be that easy to move on. We never had to think about death till we came to this island. So, when we're forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we, we, we'd know how we're supposed to deal with it. We're not that strong. Hey! Hmm? This is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Huh? Ah! Now that you mention it, she's gone! It's so strange for her to not join us for breakfast! Hmm... I have a bad feeling about that, too. Shut A bad feeling? 
I mean, hasn't she been... Uh, that's Chiaki. Oh. Hajime quit giving Chiaki's life, for God's sake. Yeah, seriously. Like, I only get to talk so much. And, like, <laughs> to director Hajime, come the fuck up. Like, uh, you're the main character, so you get all the lines. I, I want to be able to say my lines when I pick them. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, it's just... <laughs> just picking on girls again, Hajime. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> Oh no, my timer! <laughs> Fuck! I completely forgot I thought you already had it. No, I didn't. Okay, I'm setting it for like 45 minutes. <laughs> no! Set it for an hour. I know we haven't been recording for 30 minutes. I said 45, which would be 15 minutes. No, an hour. Hold on, I just... Can just I type in... Yeah, one, what? zero... It's like a calculator. That's... Okay, I don't like that. I like my old timer better, but whatever. I got a new phone, everyone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she ha hasn't she been acting a little weird these past few days? How pitiful. She's always weird. Mm. I mean, but I'm a little worried, though. She's not the one I'm worried about. But don't worry about her, she's a thought! <laughs> An awkward feeling lingered as we finished our breakfast. Soon after, we all decided to return to our cottages. Go to the fucking hospital! <laughs> you insensitive! I never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that's happened. But I should put that feeling aside for, um, and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for anyone. Get the hospital! Alright, I could fast travel there, but I can also get experience by walking. And we can also level up our pet! Exactly. Which, uh, sorry for everyone who's annoyed by all the walking in my playthrough, but, you know. I mean, everyone walks in this game considering it's just the fastest way to level up! Yeah. All you have to do is just run around in circles for hours, and you're going the wrong way again! You go to the Rocket Punch Market, though. We can see if we can get stuff there. Uh, or... Eh. Did I really go there? Yes, you did! Fucking hell. Okay, that's fine. No, 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 don't... <laughs> just check our pet. No Magical problem. Miracle Girl Usami. Uh, so, um... I don't remember our kind of acting weird, except for, you know, quote-unquote it, which was just a massage. A massage with her not having her shirt. I mean, sure, but it's still just a massage. Or a bra. It's still just a massage, though. She is the quote-unquote ultimate masseuse. Along with being the ultimate team manager. No, that's Nekamaru. <coughs> oh yeah, by the way, we have to keep our door closed to minimize on uh, oh, sound. Oh yeah, right. The hospital's on the third island. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh wait, I know. The, we have to close, keep my door closed to minimize on sound so we don't, we're not too loud with my roommate. But at the same time, uh, our air conditioner is broken, so it's really hot in here. It is. And I want to open the door to make it less hot, but I also know that we might get a bit loud, so I don't want to open the door. Uh, you know how it goes. Uh, how close this direction? Yes. Okay. Oh, it was fucking right next door. <laughs> hey, once you get out of the hospital, you can see a fun movie. Fun movie, quote unquote. Can I really? No. Oh. The only thing playing is that stupid wizard of Monami. Whatever the fuck. And I'm guessing I can't actually watch it? No. Cause you bought, cause you promised Monokuma you'd give him about a million, like ten million dollars. Is your Yuko? Yeah, he's in there. Yuko slid his stomach. I guess that was his way of accepting responsibility for what happened. I hope he didn't eat breakfast. So, he looks seriously injured. We should make sure he gets plenty of rest. Okay, so I can't act. Yeah, you, you can't go in that room, but you can go up. Like, can I go in any of these rooms? No. No. Okay. I know yeah, I can yeah, go anyway. up here. Um, when I watched Lugijin play up to where we played before, she actually did this during her playthrough, so I know where it is. Yep. There's a talking turn. I'm gonna laugh if Mikan's up here. No <laughs> Because we already know one person we're aggroing. Hmm, this Ooh. room is... There's a lot of chairs and desks here. I guess it's sort of a conference room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't even have any coins! No, we didn't, because we spent all them all last time. That's right! <laughs> Projector. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is where we'll do all our investigating. So I'm not Investigating? Even... Investigating. Because I'm gonna guess probably someone's gonna die in the hospital. So, uh, I'll just... I'll just wait to click on things until then. You know, there's no point in clicking on it before it will even count towards anything, right? Oh, it'll just like give you more experience, I think. I mean, I guess, but not much. Not enough to be worth it. Right.
Okay, let's see where everyone is. Map. Uh. Cause let's see, we are we already said we're aggroing Chiaki. Yes. Uh. Looks like Chiaki's on the other arm. Okay. Let's see how I. Cute. Uh. No one's on that arm. Oh wait, someone is. Nakamaru. Uh, yeah, Nakamaru. Um. Okay, how is there? Shaggy's at the fucking hotel! I have to go all the way back! <laughs> also, um... So... I kind of already know Ikane's free time events, because Ikane's the one that Mukajin's been uh, aggroing. Oh, okay. So, do we want to change it to someone else? Yeah, I think that would probably be the best. Uh, I get to pick it up this time. Yeah. Mm. You know who I want to hang out with? Who? I want to hang out with Ibuki. Ibuki? Yeah! Okay, that sounds fun. And now I'm going to go the correct direction this time. But that's not fun. <laughs> Gosh, I'm going to ready one. Okay, checking on the pet. Pow! Pow! <laughs> Checking on my real life pet. I keep poking her in the stomach. Uh, <laughs> Spicy hasn't been like back. Nah, she's she, she doesn't really scratch in this uh really oh. other ways. There's only one time I can ever see, uh, remember her scratching anyone, and that's when uh do you remember Michael, Craig's friend, that yeah. used to live here? Yeah. He once like picked her up and like screamed in her face, and then that's the only time I've ever. What? Seen. He screamed in her face? Yeah, like that the, dick I know. Like I'm glad he is not really around anymore. But yeah, that's the only time I can ever remember Eagle actually scratching anyone. I don't know. If you take her to the vet, maybe she'll scratch the vet. Where is she? What the fuck? I thought she was. Supposed oh to wait, be was she by her cottage? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what if she's in her cottage? I'm gonna be... I'm gonna feel pretty silly. I'm a lot. I don't remember where Chiaki is. Oh, let's, oh, hey, there she is. Ding dong. Ding dong. Who is it? She was in her cottage. Yeah! <laughs> oh what the? Gosh. That looks like... <laughs> she actually has a monokuma. She has the poster in here. <laughs> Is this a new game that just came out? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna regret playing this, but that's what it makes it so fun. <laughs> I'll do this pair, girls. Wait a minute. Wait, you said she has a Monokuma? Uh, uh, no. She doesn't have a Monokuma. She has a Monokuma, like, control, like, a thing over there. Like, look, look where the poster is. Like, that arcade machine. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Monokuma put in a fucking huge arcade machine in Chiaki's room. What the fuck? Well, that was nice of him. <laughs> Nice. Um, I'm starting to be hungry. Maybe I should... <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I trip on my words. It's because I'm so hungry. Maybe I should head to the diner. What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Yes. yes. And how yep. many fun things do we have? <laughs> do, you, do you think if we keep giving her the same thing, she's gonna like combine them into one to make a super fun box? Who knows? Yeah, you can come with me. I was about to say, eating a hamburger at the diner with Chiaki. They both yeah. shared a single hamburger. They took <laughs> bites at the same time. Whoa. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Chiaki a present? Yes. Would you like to give her? Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, 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 yeah, but I, I already know what the things are. It's like the... I know, but we, we, if we want to give her something different, we can. Um, I have I have two power gauntlets, and that's like her best thing, right? Hold on. Where the fuck did it go? I mean, you can give her that. I'm going to give it to her. Well? <laughs> hey, yeah, well? you give it to her. <laughs> Jeez Louise, how did you know I wanted that? I'm totally surprised. I never expected you to have Whoa, such an this... awesome secret ability. Thanks. Thank you. You've made me really happy. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Where do you want to go today? This is the first time I've seen Chiaki hey, looks so listen. interested. And she's not even sleeping. Maybe she was looking forward to this. Let's see. Why don't we check out the storage room in the old building? We might be able to find something interesting. Yep. Like Sokoban? That's a fun game to play. Like what? It's an old puzzle game where you have to push boxes in a warehouse so they're a science box. That sounds like something different. Oh, I see. I played that game before. Let's go. I don't know what's called that, though. 
then let's win over Monami so we can go inside the sword room. <laughs> she actually put herself against... Humped. Humped herself against... <laughs> Pumped herself up and... Oh my god, Nick. I'm sorry. Hell? Sometimes I can't read. No, what? You the, you were going to say, Chiaki pushed yourself against. Where is the word against? I don't know. Nick. Sometimes my brain just Nick, assumes do you words. Want, do you want Chiaki to play two player with ah! you? <laughs> and after winning over Monami, we went to the sword room. Now mm. we're alone. Pick up your pants. Mm. Mm. There's not a lot you can push and pull. Gosh darn it, Ryan! <laughs> I'm sorry! That was perfect! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> wow, Hajime. I was really expecting something, you know, more. There's not a lot of, that you can push it with and pull with that. <laughs> For uh, some reason, the, hot, the heat is making me laugh even more. Hajime's uh, got a small dick in front. <laughs> I like to think he has a medium dick. Uh, like when you pull it on, just like, man, that's average. I, I have mean, a joist. I have a, I, I have a plug and play. You know what? That's bigger than this. You know what? Sonya did say Hajime was average in every way. So yeah. Probably average in that way too. I mean, we're not talking about Nekomaru with his big manager <laughs> dick. Jeez. Uh, don't tell me you're serious about playing Sogobon in the storage room. No <laughs> hold on, hold on. Did she really just want to come to the storage room and if she found it, she just sit there and play amongst the dust and the cobwebs? <coughs> Ooh, look, level five. <laughs> I think she was gonna actually like play like in real life, like pushing boxes and stuff in the storage room. <laughs> no wonder she seems so excited about coming hey, here. Hey, hey. Hey, Hajime, are you good at puzzle games? Apparently he is. We're playing one right now. Nah, I'm not good at using my brain. <laughs> Use something else then. Huh? Really? Maybe you just don't like them because you haven't played that many? Well? You know how to properly theorize in order to view things, and you can calmly manage when it's important. I feel like you'd be good at public games once you got the hang of it. Huh? You really see me like that? No, I'm just saying it to make you feel better. <laughs> that kind of embarrasses me. See? For example, Rubik's Cubes and Jigsaw Puzzles are public games too. Oh yeah, I remember putting together a lot of jigs on levels when I was running. <laughs> Just you young hockey me. Get in the right slot! Oh wait, I have to turn it around. <laughs> yep, yep. Then you already know the trick, right? The trick to dig top puzzles. Uh, assemble from the outer pieces. Um, you assemble from the outer pieces, right? Yep. That's right. First you assemble the pe separate pieces. Assemble? First you separate the pieces with edges. Afterwards, you separate the leftovers by color. And then you stop correcting me on my mess ups because it really wait, annoys me. Wait, wait, is that how you fig is that how you figured out the Nancy Drew puzzle? In like, wasn't there like a jigsaw kind of like puzzle in Nancy Drew? Uh, there was, wasn't it like a letter? I don't think we could actually move those pieces around though. No, no, no. You could turn them. You could yeah, like pick true. them up and like you start up at the corners, but then you couldn't turn them. Yeah. Until that's... you figured out how to turn them. Right, right. We couldn't figure out how to turn them for the longest time. Right, and then you figured it out. So yeah, the letter is a jigsaw puzzle. You're really good at this. Yay! I have to. Just learn. like apparently, I'm going to be a good voice actor. <laughs> it makes putting it together a lot easier. I see. Now I kind of feel like putting together one, putting one together since it's been such a long time. Um... Ah, that reminds me. My father always programmed puzzle games. <laughs> you killed my father. name. <laughs> my name is Chiaki Nami. You killed my father. Prepared to die. Your father was a programmer? Yeah, his name was Chihiro. I don't know what ever happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> he left for after two years. Also, he seemed pretty young to be my dad. He also wore a dress, so, I, so for the longest time I kept calling him mom. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Yeah, apparently he was pretty manly when he was focusing on in front of his laptop. <laughs> Could you imagine <laughs> when he's working on a laptop, he goes into like a JoJo style body. <laughs> he, he lifts the laptop, turns a wrench, and does a pose all at the same time, and then letters pop out of nowhere. And then Alter Ego is his stand. <laughs> yeah, with the power of my stand, Alter Ego. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Like gigabytes. Bye 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 bye.
but I heard he couldn't solve a puzzle he made and it really depressed him. But since he hated losing, he actually went out of his way to write a separate program. And then he made the program do stuff like a brute force attack. Brute? What? Um... Uh, um... It's a way of forcibly fanning the answer. No worries though, it's all for you to not know. Also, I have to sneeze. Or maybe not, maybe it's gonna go away. Okay, that well... <laughs> That's, uh, that works for me. Whenever I can't sneeze, I clap my hands together and all of a sudden I can sneeze. That's weird. It is. I don't really understand, but it seems like Chiaki knows a lot, um, um, it seems like Chiaki also knows about programming. But more importantly, why does everything she say about her father sound like heresy? Hearsay. Oh. Heresy? <laughs> oh my! Yes, he rebelled against the government. He rebelled against Honoji Academy. <laughs> Hearsay. Wouldn't that mean she didn't personally see it? Hey, hey. Uh, we should get going and head back. Yeah, you're right. Huh? Ah, uh, huh? I quickly opened my arms and caught Jackie. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you okay? Thanks. Uh, how embarrassing. <gasps> oh my god, she had little hearts! I never tripped it before in my life. <gasps> never before in your life have you, have, you've never tripped. You've never, you've never like tripped as you're playing a game. Were you playing a game so intensely you didn't know you tripped until afterward? And then you're just on the floor and you're like, how did I get here? It's like, was I taking a nap? <laughs> no, I played the game. <laughs> oh, have you ever had a dream where you were playing a game and then you woke up in reality and started playing the game like, where the fuck's my Dragonite? Nope. You've never played, you never had a dream that you played like Pokemon or something? Nope. Like, that was me when, when I got like, a, a, had a little Game Boy Advance and I got Fire Red on it. I was so happy about it. I started playing it, I went to sleep, I had had dreams of me waking up in the middle of the night, start playing it, and then I wake, and then going back to sleep, I wake up for real, I look there, it's like, WHY THE FUCK AM I IN LAVENDER TOWN?! <laughs> As she said that, she stepped away from my chest. My heart sounds really loud. Of course it does, it's my heart. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, that surprised me. You're pretty hard and happy. Chiaki, no! Chiaki, no! <laughs> first, first it was the tug and pull, the push and pull, and now it's pretty hard, Hachi huh, Ray. Uh, uh, open the door. Huh? Huh? I uh, um, that is. <laughs> Unlike me, your arms and chest are really built. You're definitely a boy. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah, that's obvious. A little. A little less on the nose, Chiaki. Freezing. <laughs> come on. I mean, we are the legendary hero, but come on. Right. Wait. Wait. Do, yeah. you, do you think, like, Sonya's, like, like uh, kingdom allows for polygamy? I don't know. Like, could you imagine Hajime sitting there as a king and all, all the girls from the island are just sitting there around him? Like, like, your highness. He just, like, hail to the king. <laughs> She's like, uh, but I'm glad you got me. It means I'll be fine in case of emergencies. Sleepy. Even if I suddenly get sleepy, I'll be fine. You can carry me. I mean, there's a big front load to worry about, but, you know. Hey, don't sleep. If she always a board card, it's not very big learning experience. How, how many do we have to finish her? I think there's only one more. We can check! I desperately try to keep Chiaki from, fall Chiaki from falling asleep and walk her back to her room. <laughs> Just all of a sudden in the middle of walking. <laughs> ah! Jeez. Jeez! It's still bright out. It's still plenty of time today. I want to hang out. Oh, uh, can we hang out with a boogie? She did seem a bit weird. Well, let's find out. Yep. There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Also, is the last. Let's, let's check Chiaki's board. Is this la is the last one inside someone's room? Yes. Okay. Well, it's inside a room. We're not let, we're not able to go there yet. Okay, I just want to make sure. Uh, All right. Okay. Um, report card. Yep. Report card. You need a fan in you. I do. You want me to look, go look for a fan real quick? Yeah. I'll uh I'll decide who I actually want to hang out with. I uh, like I like. We're not going with the bookie. Well, I'm trying to find a bookie. Uh, like I'm gonna just walk out of the door and search around. If I know. Where I'm going. Ah! 
No, the microphone! The microphone <laughs> fell over! <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh... Ooh! I'm getting a hold of it! I couldn't find a... I couldn't find one. I swear to God, dude, though, if you break my microphone, this thing I, li I literally just... I literally sat in the chair. And <laughs> it just fell over like this. Okay, it didn't fall on the ground. Though. No, it didn't fall on the ground. It fell okay. on the pizza thing. Good, good. Because I don't want to break my microphone. <laughs> I was literally... I was literally trying to figure out a way to figure out how to move around. <laughs> I'm just like beep, beep, beep. Uh, let's see. Um, hey, I don't want. I don't want to waste too much time in the episode, though. Maybe we can look for. We'll look for one later. Yeah, like between episodes. Yeah. Okay. So where are we going? Uh, we're trying to find a bookie for right now. Uh, Yoko. That's first island. I think she's on the third island. Okay, well Chiaki's there if we want to go for her again. But, um, Akane, Fuyuhiko, Panic, or Mikan, sorry. Yeah. Um, hey! In the, movie, in the sound place. In the music venue, or as we like to call it, the booby building. Do we want to hang out with her or do we want to just finish off Chiaki? You quick? know what? We're here right next to Chiaki's. Chiaki, let's just finish off Chiaki. Then we, can hang with, then we can hang with the booby. Yes. She, okay, I well, think she's actually in gosh darn it. <laughs> the hotel now, considering we went to the hotel first. Yeah. What if she did that just to mess with us? <laughs> she sounds like Fedeco. Okay, Giagi, I'm here to interrupt your gaming. I hope you don't mind. We want huh? you to play with our joystick. Huh? What happened? Are you bored or something? Yes, I'm just bored. What should I do? Should I hang out with Giagi? Well? I'm bored too. Let's say I have a way to kill time together. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, we can kill ti time together with that, I think. <laughs> Chiaki, no! I kill time with Chiaki as we thought about different ways to kill time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. There's a likely to be Chiaki present. Okay, uh, what's... I only have one more of uh, the, uh... Can you pull up your screenshot? Uh, apparently, I, I don't know what happened to mine. Oh, well. We, let's well, just give her... Oh, wait. Can we give her the tips, tips, and tips? Oh, that's right. Is that one of her favorite things? Yeah, it had, for every game. <laughs> How you mean? Yes! You seem to be holding something pretty nice. <laughs> Thank you. No one has ever given me such an awesome present before. Um, um there's something I want to go... Somewhere I want to go with you today. I'm going to turn on the light. Okay. okay. Yeah, of course. Anywhere is fine. This is a, oh, actually, you want to open my windows? That would probably help, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. It's the first time Giachi picked a place for herself. I heard he's sorting the room. It's locked. You have to unlock it. There may be elephants in the room, guys. There's just a lot of body heat in here. Body heat. I'm like half the problem. <laughs> Technically, I don't have the problems. There's just only two people in. I mean, you're right. Uh, can you lower that all the way? Oh come on! It's sorry. It bothers me that it's no. Tilted. It's it's it. I'm I'm tilted. To do it by hand. I'm tilted that it's tilted. Okay. This is yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> She's like, I want to be next to the window now. <laughs> it's, it's the first time Chiaki has picked a place herself. My heart is starting to race. I want to go to your room. I'm sorry! Do you think that she would just be like, just like, you have a TV too. Let's play a video game together. Uh, Chiaki took me to the beach. She's looking around for some reason. Hey, why'd you pick the beach after all this time? Did you do want to swim or something? Mm -hmm. uh, in those types of games, usually, <laughs> you put motion on my back, right? What? Chiaki! Is this a... <laughs> And then you touch me in a weird place, and I yell at you, and I, it, it, it's a standard top. Excuse me! Chiaki, huh? you need to be wearing a... What? Huh? Which reminds me. Where do you think the legendary tree is growing? What kind of game are you talking about right now? Well? I shall give you three choices of for what we're going to do from now on. Please select from the following three. Is this a new game world version or something? I want a piece of paper Chiaki gave me. Do we have to choose from one of these? 
Uh... What? <laughs> Excuse me? I don't know which one to do! Um... Maybe hug? Then I hug Chiaki. Just kidding. Mm. Oh, you were? I'm glad you were just kidding. Fuck. If you did something that violent so suddenly, it would have been very bad. All the flags in the story would have been lowered, and the affection meter would have drastically decreased. That is pretty difficult. Uh, celebrate the ocean! Celebrate in the ocean? I don't even know what that means. Mm -hmm. Then you shouldn't have gone on that boat in the first place. What boat? Why did the choice even out in the first place? <laughs> do I really, do I really? Ah! <laughs> okay. Happy, happy, joy, joy. What does this even mean? Mm -hmm. I don't really know either, but it's probably something like this. Suddenly, she actually started running. Um, catch me if you can. She continued running across the beach. You're just standing there. I had no choice, <laughs> so I chased her. <laughs> After chasing her around for a little bit, we felt really tired and sat down on the beach. Chaggy, what in the world are we doing? Uh, I was thinking about overcoming the genre I'm bad at. Uh, bad gaming? I oh, know I remember. The other day you mentioned there were games you're not so good at. Apparently, my father also wasn't good at these thing things like this. Was, like this. <laughs> he, no one's good at dating, Chiaki. Don't, don't worry. Well, this is the most difficult after all. Mm. But, hmm, I see. So this is what it feels like. Be loved. Why do you feel convinced by yourself? Hey, hey. Just now, this was a date, right? I think those are usually different. But I sort of understand what Chiaki meant when she said she's not good at this genre. She probably means dating sims. After spending some time with you, I realized something for the first time. There are a lot of things I still don't understand. For example... Why is there burning right next to my crutch? I know how babies are made. I don't really know what? how to fall in love with someone. What? Oh, but I know, don't really know what? how to fall in love What? Hold on! That is going from one date to ten! <laughs> that sort of thing. Why would you use that as an example? <laughs> Thank you! Oh, what happened? Your face is red, Hajime. N nothing happened. Nothing happened! I didn't imagine us making the perfect child! Just as I thought. There's still a bunch of stuff I don't really know anything about. I don't know more about lots of things. Do you think Chiaki's asexual like I am? Do you think Chiaki just wants to experience it one time and then never do it again? I don't know. It's like, it's like, do you, did you want a child, Chiaki? Child, children are boring. They're only good for playing games with. She's so crazy. Because if I do, I'll be able to understand much more, I think. Well? So you can, can you <gasps> teach me how to do <coughs> I was taking a drink, Chiaki! I swear to God! Yeah, of course. Well, actually, maybe they're romantic since she doesn't know how to do date things. But then again, she does, I don't know. What if she's straight, but just, like, not interested? Possible. Like, like when it comes to sexual stuff, she's just like, I can take it or leave it. Mm. But when it comes to, like, romantic stuff, she's like, give me flowers, you dickhole. Well, she says she's not good at romantic things. Yeah, that's why she yells at him. Oh, okay. She tells him what to do. <laughs> but By the way, did that. you get new speakers? Yes, I did. Oh, hey. Because the other one, my whole speaker is also broke. <laughs> <laughs> Everything just broke on me, so I. Had Spe to... Speaking of computers, uh, I'm thinking about saving up for an alien mic. Okay, nice. A uh, good high-speed uh, gaming PC. Yeah, um, I would re recommend what I did though. Um, Alienware is okay, but it, usually custom-built computers are. I know, I know, custom like people. Oh, is she trying to cook? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but I want to get one and then improve upon it. Okay. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to hurry up and get off this island. Don't ever forget about me. Even, Even after... after you get out of here. Sorry. What? Huh? I don't know why Chiaki would say something like that. But there's no denying it's a strong bond I feel between Chiaki and myself. I'll definitely get out of here and take Chiaki to a lot of different places. Like, like the kingdom of no Novoselic. Yeah. Go out, partner! Nice. Chiaki's report card has been updated based on your experience here. You unlock the skill. Cheat code. Cheat code! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't really hey, need that. Polka dots. Thanks, but I didn't really need that. Oh, okay. This just reminded me of something. Yeah. I'm in a Danganronpa, like the, the Danganronpa game I keep talking about, Andrew's yeah. Calling, yeah. which is coming out in June, by the way. Uh, we, have, we have a Discord, and in that Discord, there's a Not Safe for Work chat, and someone posted a link. Was it the Chiaki and Hajime thing? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, they, they sent me that picture, too, but... Okay. I'm talking about there's a link for Strip Poker Night at the Inventory. Jeez Louise. And you can play against Chiaki. Oh, jeez Louise. You can also play against Mahiru, which I find really funny. <laughs> okay. 
After discussing different ideas about where we should go next, I return to my room. Hey, Kitty, what are you doing? She trying to get back through. Aww. It's getting dark outside. Sign him already. Huh, that felt fast. Ever since I arrived at the island, day passes by abnormally fast. The doorbell? Does that mean someone's here? I gosh, they walked up to the door and opened it slowly, wary of what might be on the other side. Nice Hi. to have met ya! Hey! Hello, Abuki. <laughs> Abuki? <laughs> Abuki. <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet you! You know, it's a very strange nice to meet you! Abuki? You again? Also, wait, hold on. Why do you... Why? Nice to have met you. Oh, okay. I'm just... I, I thought... I thought there was supposed to be an apostrophe when it was actually a quote, but I get it. The S is after the quote. Yeah. Okay. Because they're multiple. Abuki, you again? That's totally it! Allow me to apologize for sudden surprising you with my sudden visit! <laughs> I'm sorry! Well, it's a lot better than last time when you broke into my room. <laughs> <laughs> you must be the type who holds grudges. My ear and joints hurt. That means you have gout. So what do you want? Um... Um, if Uki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Invitation? Yes! See? This thing! What the? That's only a girl's writing. Let's see. A recovery party at for Fuyuhiko at Titi Typhoon at 9 p.m. <laughs> I'm so glad that you got to say the name. What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Why, you? Uh, how rude! Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma! Did you... is this your doing? <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about at all! Uh-huh. Ibuki just... just brought the invitation! Uh-huh. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparations, and so I'll go on ahead! I'll leave it now! She even said preparations. She, she's completely behind this. It's so adorable. Um, Titty Typhoon. Is that the music venue on the third island, right? Oh, that is the music, yeah. Huh? Huh? 9 p.m. is in- that's in 30 minutes! But, even though it's a party for Hiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? And for all, he just slid his stomach this morning. I mean, if he doesn't stand up. <laughs> she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. I guess it's- I guess I should head over to the music venue. Okay. And huh? we walk there to level up. Yes. And we have to check on the pet! Uh, we should check on the pet right now, actually. Oops. No poop, okay. okay. We need to give we need to give these pets different names whenever we get anyone. Um, okay. Like we call one Archibald or Susie. <laughs> Paul. That's a person's name! Paul! Adam West. Oh by the way, so uh the cats that sometimes the the stray cats outside that sometimes visit me, um, because they I've been feeding them, right? So you basically own those cats. Yeah, kind of, but they're still strays. Um, but I, I've tried to give them names. Of course, you already met Speckles, right? Yeah, the one that keeps getting pregnant. Yeah. Um, but there's also Chirper, who is the, uh, she He's is... the one that makes her pregnant. No, no. She, uh, she's actually another mama as well. She recently had kittens as well. Oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I named her Chirper because of the, she makes cute little chirping noises. Instead of meows. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, you're going to right. Yeah. And the last one, the orange one, or... <laughs> the, uh, the orange one, I was just calling the orange one for the longest time. Oh, I was right! Okay. Yeah. Uh, but then I was like, I need to give you an actual name. And then, so I started calling him Orange for short, instead of just the orange one. And then Milo came over and decided to shorten it even further to OJ. I'm like, that's nice. I, I, I'm, gonna keep, I'm keeping that. So his name's OJ now. Mm, orange juice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, two of my voice acting people. Good. <laughs> Nagito, Ibuki invited you too, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm honored. But since everyone else is also going to be there celebrating Fuyuhiko's recovery... Someone like me? No matter what I think, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. Yay! This too must be Tonight's the real consolation. Heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's resurrection. <laughs> How idealistic! It's nearly now then, Let us begin the ceremony of darkness. This guy. Oh, who cares anymore? But yeah, I, I did my I did my uh, Gundam impersonation 
for the people on the jet, and yeah, they, like, they, they, they said, like, are you sure you're not the original voice actor? Excuse me. <laughs> you should link them to our playthrough. <laughs> he already tried. Oh, he, he already looked it up. <laughs> One person already looked it up. And they weren't impressed? Well, the thing is, I don't know if he was watching it, considering I couldn't hear it over my earphones. Gotcha. Some people have already arrived at the music venue, but... Who are you, Hiko? Why are you... Huh? What? Is it bad I came? <laughs> no, it's not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay! You're seriously injured! Even so... They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. But... I understand how <laughs> you feel. Hiko, I swear to God, if you keep using the word come, I think someone else might come. The what police! What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the police! You really shouldn't overwork yourself. So I'm not overdoing it. He's sitting on a stool. Fine then. Just let him do whatever he wants. But right. huh? it's fine. Just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have pain tolerance down to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing us to join in this kind of Just event. Just sit in a fucking chair. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Hey. But it looks like Hyoko definitely didn't come. How is it? That seems to be the case. Huh? And Akane's not here too. Hmm. What is that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. As if on cue, Rowan Nekamaru expressed his unease. That's when it happened. My! Oh my! Suddenly, the stage lit up very brightly. <laughs> and apparently, fire came out of their mouths. Uh, the person who appeared uh, uh, was well, Ibuki, right? Yep. Hey, y'all! It's Ibuki Miyota! Thanks, Thanks for coming out today! My specialty is making beef stew! Beef stew! Beef what stew! Beef stew! stew. <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. Where's so it? I'm gonna Where'd do you my very from? best performance so I can make Probably everyone feel you. better! I hope you're all pumped up! I mean, there's probably a backstage behind those curtains. Probably. Just as I thought, that's what she was going for. Well, she is an ultimate musician. After all, I can't imagine what else she'd be doing at a music venue. Alright! Right. I'll start singing this first song with full-on energy! Uh, we apologize. So, yeah, put your hands together it. for... Okay. Yeah. From me to you too! There's children playing outside, but they shouldn't be too Do you much. think we should just close the front window? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Well, let's keep playing. Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I can probably look forward to your musical stylings. What the f do we skip? Do we want to skip this? Nah. She played metal. Oh, oh also, epileptic warning! I can't even hear either. That's probably because I have the music turned on. You know what? Fucking skip it, I guess. Thank you, everyone! You're welcome, Babuki! <laughs> What is what? What happened to your eyes? <laughs> That's the face I wanted to see. <laughs> it's it's how your like facial structure changes. Yeah, like what happened to his face in general? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get cursed. What? Such an overwhelmingly baleful resonance. Even my four dark days of destruction look less lively than usual. Something like this. I too. I'm starting to feel chills. Ooh, and the title line from me to you! I thought it was gonna be a sweet love song! It could have been a sweet love song. We, did, we couldn't hear it. Yeah. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was... Um... Creative differences. That must be why. I mean... <laughs> what the Awesome! That was the first time I've heard such a famous Where song! Where the fuck did you come from?! Yoko? Yeah. I'm glad. Ah, uh, you came? <laughs> So what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But... But if you're attending Fury and Eagle's recovery party, that means you've already... Nope. That's not it! Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I forgive him that easily. Hey! Because he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Thoughts do that. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry, so he can try to trick us. Please wait. There is no way that is possible. I know. 
No, I get why she think that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never gonna be leaving you. I'm gonna believe in it. Get it? This is why this is doesn't mean we made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? So Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. Sorry. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. You nasty pig! Ew, boss. don't cry! Pigs don't have no right to cry! You're grossing me out! I see. God. Yeah. I see who he goes not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying. Huh. The old Yoko, there's no way she'd ever forgiven he few to go away like this. Gross! Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more re 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 all the more reason to worry about him. <laughs> Monokuma. There's no way he's not gonna do anything like while he's watching us like this, right? Boring! Hey, how much money you guys gonna be bummed out? I came all the way because you said they're at the party. Also, I thought for sure that usually when events like things happen, like events like this happen, that's when someone dies. And I was like, alright, who's gonna be dead? Is it gonna be Hiyoko? Because I, I seem like things are gonna be pointing towards her, but she's fine. Yeah. So. I guess Akane is not exactly safe yet because we haven't seen her. We haven't seen, we haven't seen hide no butt hair of her. Right, so I'm not big concerned about where she is, but there hasn't even been a motive yet. Yeah, true. So, I don't know. Yay! Come on, Wookie! Hurry up and start the next song! Roger! Thanks for waiting! Let's go right ahead to the next song! Oh, uh -huh. joyful. There's still more. Oh, right. Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance to... I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. <laughs> what the <laughs> That's a really long title. <laughs> Stop it! I'm not saying <laughs> Oh, that's you. Whoa, Monami? Jeez! Hey, don't want to interfere. Aw, you're having such a fun party, too. What? I was invited to the party! <laughs> well, obviously not. You can go to the party if you were here. What? <laughs> Double yeah. up! But seriously, now's not the time! Now's not the time to enjoy the fun party! Alright, what happened to Akane? Why? <laughs> What? See, do this. What did you say? Oh. Get your game on. At this point, Kami's gonna be in danger. Please do something to save her. Could it be? It looks like my bad feeling was correct. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that <laughs> That stupid fool! Mm. No. I'm the one who was the fool. It was my mistake. It was my mistake. <laughs> it was my mistake to not keep her eyes, my eyes on her. <laughs> As a team, as a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp on my athlete's private life. Damn it! This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life, or my name isn't Nakamaru Nizai. Um. I'm trying to be intense while at the same time being quiet. Yeah, I feel. Now's not the time to regret. Let us make haste. Of course! Damn it! But you, Hiko, finally returned to us thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it! Oh, you had a burp. <laughs> I will never allow it! Hey, Monami, where's the Kai and Monokuma? Um, um, they're at the beach where we first arrived at this island. <gasps> Please hurry! If you don't, Akane's gonna get killed! You don't have to tell me! I'm going full speed ahead! See? We should hear you too. And Kamaru bolted from the music menu as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed after him soon after. I mean, if we saw him. it, if he saw anything like the 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 eight bit version of him, do you think he's running like this? <laughs> yeah, I should hurry too. Hey, everyone! Uh, thanks, thanks, everyone. No, that's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck! You're just half-baked comfort. If this were a song title, it'd be salt seeping into my broken heart! I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. Uh, 
Come on, you shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry up. We're to the beach already. He's right. I could hurry too. Okay, well, uh... Do you think there's actual drinks there? Where are you going? So I just want to see my thing. There's no time. <laughs> yeah. It's no use. It's no use! Okay, I actually have to walk there. It's not just gonna teleport me. Okay, well, at least I get from experience. Oh. It just as Nakamura said, I can't stand any, uh, any more situations where someone is taken any longer. There's no time to spare. I need to hurry up to the beach at the first island. There's no time to despair? No. <laughs> <laughs> Despair? Yeah, yeah, I got the. I, got I know, it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time for despair. Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry, Connie, but I had to take care of my pet poop real quick. You understand? Uh, you can find him out for a little while longer. <laughs> I believe in you. I slightly less believe in you. You are getting beaten. I suddenly not don't believe in you as much as I did the last few times. Oh god. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> That's such a dick. Uh, Chiaki, what are you doing here? Hey Chiaki, what are you doing? You gotta get to the beach. Hold it. Calm down. Were you expecting me to start talking? For some reason, yes. <laughs> huh? Well? It's true we need to hurry, but there's no way you can make a des good decision so if you're so worked up. But if we don't hurry, it kinda is. Hey. For the sake of saving Akane too, we don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Yeah, I got it. I'm okay now. Yep. Then let's go. Leisurely walk there. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Okay. Now that's What the? Uh, that was just my light flickering real quick. After running there at full sprint, by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath. I saw a shocking scene fold before me. Uh, Akane, looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? D damn it! Well, why you can't I even me? graze you with my uh, attacks? No. Oh, there's chips. There's, there's, there's like little, barely empty things. Yeah, I guess you can have the rest of it. I, I yeah, guess. you have another big bag up here. Yeah. Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. Could you imagine, like, someone taking out a bag while watching this? Still totally concerned, but... I think the bag just completely covered over the voice acting for that line. Oh, well. <laughs> it's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. Yeah? <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey! Is she really serious about not even grazing it? Akane is just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma is an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she says she can't even graze him with her attacks? Is that even possible? However, just because it's just because, however, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to bolster our hope. Fuck off, <laughs> right? Like Fuyuhiko did, you see? Don't fuck with me! Hey! Damn it! I never want to feel that feeling again. I'd probably mess up that line, but whatever. If I have to feel like that way again, I'll make sure I'll stop it. Even if it costs me my life. Ah! No, you can't! You really die if you keep over exerting yourself! Yeah. It's just a little life Echo gave me. Not precious anyway. The fuck? Hey. You stupid idiot! That's all the more reason you need to take care of it! Huh? Don't stop me! You guys stay back. I'll take it from here. This is Neko Maru Nidai's final firework! Make sure you sear it into your eyes! Oh! Now then, it Mega looks Man like it everyone's here, so I might as well finish this! Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This 
is what happens when you break the rules! Disappear! Ah. Uh. The world shook and turned stark white, as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white. And was that white? I heard uh, a voice. Ah! Uh, the Nekomaru! The Nekomaru! Why did you... S save <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is uh, a manager's <laughs> duty. I kind of am, because I... Accidentally saw a spoiler once, and if Nekamaru dies here, then that spoiler is not true? Maybe. Unless this is leading up to that spoiler that I saw. However, you guys don't get to see this yet. What a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to. who was just a little shot from a bazooka. Excuse me, you are worst. not. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Just a little shop of a bazooka. Just a little shop of man. You shouldn't have a body anymore. Right. You are you are so lucky to just be bleeding to death. Right. G get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru. Akane, the time I've spent with you, it, oh. it wasn't so bad. The eyes. Don't I'm sorry. The eyes die. are always what get me in this game. Akane. That, what the fuck? He didn't get a chest wound from that. Yeah, that's he got bad. a head wound. What the hell? I barely even grazed. Like it blew up his shirt, I guess. But are you kidding me? <laughs> See, like that's his normal facial expression. What was the other one? <laughs> Nakamaru died. That. What? 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 Holy crap! Uh, it's been a while since I've done Monokuma. Instead of the rule violator Akane! What the hell? What a major failure! I ended up killing Nekomaru, who had nothing to do with this! Hey! Uh, hold on. It's faint. His heart is still beating. He's not dead yet! <laughs> and you have a hurry and treat him! God, I'm gonna be so glad if I don't have to do this voice anymore. You can do something like this, right? Save Nekomaru like you saved mine. Me, right? That's right! If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that means you... That means you the one who violated the rules! Well... I'd love to say we're even! Hmm? Sure already did it! <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let to say Nekomaru was a sacrifice! Yeah! So it's okay even... So is it okay to say we're even? Hey! You're not gonna say that! Jeez, I guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he dies at a meaningless death. So... So, for today only, I'll activate my special trump card! And that's what had happened. A siren started ringing out of nowhere, and it gradually became closer and closer. Yeah, that again. Oh, uh, this again? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Kilgood! Jokes. He even recycled the same line again. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat! So, I'll see you later! Could you imagine, like, four mini Monokumas start coming out, put him on a stretcher, put him on the car, he gets in the driver's seat and he drives off? Four mini Monokumas? Do you mean the Mono Kids from the third game? <laughs> I'm surprised you knew that! It's because I watched the opening. Oh yeah, that's right. Mono Cubs! Yeah. Anyway. And after you said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nekomaru vanished from our sight. What the hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? Hey, he's gonna be alright, right? Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course! He's obviously gonna be saved! <sighs> but Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru is gone now. No! No more! I can't stand this anymore! Hey! I'm sorry, I was just... It's just a little bit tired. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> hey, can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know. Fuck you. Cause, cause... You ugly. This isn't cuz. This is what happens when you let we when we let our guard down. All this talk about getting everyone everyone getting along. We're just fooling ourselves. I mean, yeah. Akane tried to like 
she tried to fight Monokuma in order to save us. Right. It wasn't like she was just gonna fight like, hey, yo, let's fight. No. Fuck you. Fuck you and your banana uh, yin-yang hair, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> you need to shut... You need to have a coke and a smile and to shut the fuck up. We were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just be killed one right after another. Kyoko, coke, smile, shut the fuck up. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never going to rely on anyone. That's the reality here. Uh, are you saying it's meaningless for us to even work together? Shut up! If it really did, if it really did have meaning, Nakamura wouldn't have ended up like that. <laughs> he ended up like that because of this weird feeling of friendship. You. Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid one tries to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. Hey! So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die in a meaningless death. Yoko, no, just... I want to tie you to a tree, cut that tree off, and throw the tree into the ocean with you still on it. Damn. <laughs> you almost said my line again. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Hajime. Hajime, could you please stop saying my lines? <laughs> anyway. Yoko, yeah. hey, play me a Kami for not help solve anything. Where, where did... Where did this... Oh, you're using it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I didn't see it there, and I was like, anyway. Huh. Coaster. We don't, we don't have to worry about Coach Nikamaru. Huh? Huh. Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault, and you're not even worried about him. Oh. Oh, Connie, you're not worried about Nikamaru? D damn it! There's no need to about worry. There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Coach Nikamaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's going to die from something like that. There's no doubt. Nekamaru is definitely going to come back. Damn it. So, when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Because I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Rakane. Yeah? As we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. You know, if we opened our mouths, the only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nakamaru's tragedy happen right in front of our, right in front of us, once again we were all taught: if you think you won't die, well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside of it, and thus the nightmare continues. Monokuma Theater. <clears throat> Super! Monokuma's Super Fables, Story 58. A Tengu came down from the mountains. A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengu showing up. The Tengus up here apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food, kidnapping women, tying into freaking trees and throwing the trees into oceans. <laughs> but is it really the Tengu's fault? Is, isn't it actually the human's fault for ruining, ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the dangus live? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. That's actually kind of true. Yeah. Everyone, now is the time to rise up against the humans. We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Bring it on! Mon Monokuma's Super Fables. The end. I mean, he's got a point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on it. As usual, well, even though I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted in the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. We may have to walk there. We should also check the pet. Yeah, we should. I think the pet was fine. I know we haven't walked since I checked it at the beach, so... Well, Fuyuhiko's there. <laughs> Not my voice actor. Yeah. Not my actor that I voice actor. <laughs> I'm the voice Yo. actor. Uh, oh, it's you, Hajime. Huh. Hey, even in such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Damn it. Nikamaru, what that bastard mean by his final firework? That line's more suited to Yakuza anyway. Nekamaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs, just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. Why, you- Shut up! Don't say another word! Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. Fuyuhiko. 
Is there anyone in the lobby? Yeah. Okay, one. Talk to her, and I'm gonna say something. Okay. Hey. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, morning. See? Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in the Kamaru. Come on, feel better. Okay. We are about to see the worst motive in all of Danganronpa. Even worse than the money? Even worse than the money. Ooh. Even worse than the stupid arcade game. Okay. Because the money, people pay to kill, to kill each other all the time, so that makes sense. This doesn't. Oh. Go up the stairs. Okay. Hmm? As I went walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Is someone crying inside? Mikan? Or is it Kyoko? It's not like Akane. I peeked inside and quickly and quietly walked to the restaurant. <laughs> huh? Akane? You're the one who's crying? <laughs> I'm... Uh, don't, don't. Sorry. Uh, I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? I'm scared someone's gonna take my lines again. <laughs> well, what happened? Could she be in shock of what happened to Nanakamaru? Yesterday, she was acting braver. Now talk to everyone else. There are two other people here. Hey! It's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. Oh. Well, I wouldn't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. Doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? <laughs> that idiot. He lied to me about my hero being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. Why is he selling such a pointless lie? <laughs> I don't know, but I hate being lied to. Jeez! I don't feel satisfied until his joints are all bent on upward angles. It'd probably be a waste of time to figure, or find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but... I don't get all this. Why do you have to tell her such an outrageous lie? And talk to him. Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? I see! Hajime! Be careful! It's probably not the real Fuyuhiko! Huh? I know. The real Fuyuhiko is already dead. That's why that pro that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone! You... what do you say? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nakamaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come as a replacement. Excuse me? <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. Are you, are you seeing a are you seeing a pattern here? He's no. lying. Out his ass. Oh, you are you messing around? It's the truth. I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. Right? In order to prove it, I'll explain it especially to you. Listen carefully. I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> You know, the true identity of World Ender. The traitor who was hiding among us is... There's no mistake. Byakuya! That's right! Byakuya is alive! Excuse me. He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? Is there... Uh, I think there's someone over to the right. No! Where the fuck? Talk to Akane now. Okay. <laughs> what happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Akamaru got killed, you know? What are you saying? It's not like Mekaroro is dead yet. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Let me go back home. She must be so shocked that Akamaru sacrificed himself for her. No, there's no way to, that explains the change that changes in this sudden drastic. Yes. Pardon me, everyone, but do you have... but do you happen to have some time to spare? Hello, my and name is Ibuki Miyoda. It may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. Uh, has she been hypnotized? Good morning! I hope... I look forward to working with you all today. Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Miyoda. Aren't you acting strange, too? Wait! Be careful, Ibuki! Hajime is dangerous! He wants to kill you and eat you! What are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see. 
So it was a lie. It's the truth. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. Understood. I see. So it's not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. What the heck is this? Akane? <laughs> you look so confused. I really am. <laughs> Nagito, Ibuki, they're all acting strange. What's going on? We'll find out in the next episode! Wait, what? <laughs> really, we've been going for four minutes past it. What? Why didn't it set off my alarm then? Whatever. See you guys next time. Bye!